You know, the funny thing is me and my husband dated and lived together for quite some time before we decided to say I do. Now, <clears throat> you would think that would make for a smooth transition, but there was still some hiccups along the way. And that's where today we are getting into surviving our first year of marriage. And we're giving you some tips on how to survive your first year. Surviving of our first year. Man, it's so long ago. So long. So it was so 1999-ish. So, so long ago. <laughs> yes, but yeah, hey, thanks. We're back at it again. Sharing keys to a successful marriage with Frank Rochelle in the building. Right on. If this is your first time joining our community where it's all about building healthy relationships, take a moment to subscribe. But we're glad to connect with you. And, and, and I see you got your tea, but it's definitely an interesting post mm -hmm. that yes, we're getting yes. ready to pull up on the screen. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, go ahead. I'll let you take it away. Okay. Well, this post says, married women, I need your help. I've always been told and seen in the people that I know and movies and whatnot that the first year is like the honeymoon era. Well, this is not my experience. <laughs> We're further from each other than we've ever been and completely stumped as far as how to treat each other. Mm. I always thought we worked things out beautifully, but this first year is so hard. Has anyone else had this experience? Does it pass? Please help me. Now, girl, everything for us was smooth sailing. <laughs> Easy peasy. Woo, that's a lie. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to remember. You know, I, I, you, you know we, we got to thought... travel back 21 years ago and kind of think, what was that first year like for us? You know, I'll start. <clears throat> and I will say this. It was it was challenging. Um, We were newly married. I was newly pregnant and we were newly lost. So in order for us to get on that, I don't know, blissful marriage train, we had a lot to learn. We were both very young. I was only 19 at the time and my husband was just entering his 20s. So we were very young. We didn't know much. We didn't have, we didn't have much money. You know, we were struggling in so many different areas, struggling to get to know each other, struggling as to how we're going to raise a baby and start a family, you know? So we had a lot of learning to do, a lot of communication to do. And, you know, we, for, for myself, I had to learn how to communicate because I just didn't know how. So in order for that, I had to learn a lot about myself very quickly. I mean, I understand that. Um, I guess truly for me, it was, um, I guess more of a challenge of just trying to, to figure things out. If I were giving you tips mm -hmm. on just surviving your first year in marriage, mm -hmm. number one, relax. It's, it's going to have its bumps and bruises to right. say the least. Um, especially coming from two different cultures. <laughs> I love it when people comment on posts and they say, Oh no, they should have figured that out all before they got married. Oh, no. And, and, and that, that's great. Some people feel like they're, you know, two peas in a pod before they get married. Some do. Um, but I, I don't know too many married couples that, that just have it all, all figured, perfect, right. perfectly figured Laid out. Laid out. Internet instructions. So so <laughs> relax. I mean, I, I've seen situations where people have lived together for years and then all of a sudden they decide to say I do and then everything goes kaboom. So relax. It's your first year of marriage. Mm -hmm. The first thing I would say is focus on being on the same page with each other and temper your expectations. Uh, how Ro mentioned finance. I was literally that brother at the grocery store with a calculator oh, God. walking <laughs> through the aisle. Cause you know, my, my grandma oh, was a penny God. pincher and it just drove her, but I, I kid you not. We, we have a local grocery store. She's got the cart and I'm like, oh, Wait, don't put that in there. How, how, how much is that? I need to get that in my calculator. And that was driving her nuts. So some interesting expectations, yeah. but that that was how I was raised. Please, you... please don't count every single penny that every <laughs> single penny that you have. Please don't do that. That is a big mistake. And it's going to cause some friction and frustration between the both of y'all. One thing that I can say in your first year of marriage is learn to have fun 
fun. Please don't be so serious mm -hmm. about everything because you're going to look back 10, 15, 20 years from, from that point and say, damn, we wasted so much time being frustrated or being mad or being angry. And we don't even know what the hell we were mad, frustrated or angry over because, you know, it was 10, 15, 20 years ago. So focus on the moment, have as much fun as you can in that first year, do things, travel, have a lot of sex, have a lot of fun, go out with friends, save money, be responsible. There are so many things I could tell you what to do in that first year of marriage, but focus on one another and the needs and the communication. Focus, that first year of marriage, focus. <laughs> I mean, for me, I, I would definitely not wanna be going into my first year of marriage right now, especially in the, the this out of this world expectation yeah. culture that we live in to serve me, right. to get the bad culture. But uh, like Ro mentioned budget, we talked about budgeting. Be cautious about watching social media, television, the internet. Uh, Ro mentioned travel. <laughs> if you're broke, you may not be able to travel. But there's things like the park, yeah. uh, a fun travel you know, within the city. Free, I mean, right now, of course, we're, travel we're, within your state. We're, we're, we're locked down right now. Or a lot of us are locked down. But when things open up, it's the little thing. Don't get, <laughs> you know, I was looking at a post this morning talking about most of these sisters want a brother to take them on vacations, level up, and, and when they on the vacations, bend them over the balcony. Look, you may not be able to bend over the balcony, but you know what. what <laughs> Maybe it's the bathroom sink oh, in your little mini apartment. God. You know, work with the kitchen with, table. You know, what well, work with what you got. Don't let the fact that you can't do everything that you see on social media right. come, you know, hurt hurt you because it's it's levels to this. It is. Keep it simple. Keep a, a romantic dinner at the house. Lights. Look, go to the dollar store. Get you some candles. Light them bad boys. Go pick up a a, a couple of dozen roses from the from the homie on the corner. Spread them rose petals out. There are things that you can do in your first year of marriage that does not have to be all glitz, glamour, and very expensive. Learn how to work with what you got mm -hmm. and and keep it fun and make it fun. Don't miss out on the fun moments together. Right. Because when mm -hmm. you start bringing kids into the situation and you start, you know, going after your career very hard and you're you're in school and you're trying to graduate, those things tend to take over a lot of things in your marriage. So really focus on each other in the first year and, you know, have some, let the kids stay out the picture for a while. Maybe the first five years of marriage or so, leave the kids at bay for a minute and just focus on one another, get to know one, one another and have some amazing times together. And I'm, I'm going to say this. She's going to give me the side eye right now, but matter of fact, give me, give me the make so y'all can't, I don't even want y'all <laughs> to see her giving me the side eye, okay. but just understand there are going to be disagreements. That's right. normal. Mm -hmm. Don't freak out. For example, coming together, even to this day, my version of a clean house is completely opposite <laughs> to her version of a clean house. Preach. She she keeps yes, picking. Yes, it is. I can't find none of my stuff because she keeps picking it up and putting it where she <laughs> thinks it should work and not where I will. <laughs> Baby, where are my socks? In, in the t-shirt drawer. But they should be in the sock drawer. <laughs> so remember, they're going to be, oh they're going to be. <laughs> contradictions <laughs> and, and it don't go away i'm sorry i'm sorry Look, it, it, it's just something that lasts some people get over it but you know uh the you, underwear gonna, drawer go. consists of socks undies and shirts okay okay they so all go together you, you, you're right baby you and your husband right. and, and your husband just tell, just tell him just tell him tell him look at this way baby you right of course just just all he gotta do all, all he gotta do is just say Baby, you are so right. I am so wrong. I, I should not have a dedicated sock drawer. Let's put it on again. Nope, you shouldn't. <laughs> but that leaves more space for other things. We're joking and, and we're having fun. But like I said, don't sweat the small stuff. Yeah, yeah Money issues are going to come no matter what level you're on. Yep. Ma manage that. Don't let it get you crazy. Mm -hmm. And try to make the best of it. Me coming into this, mama told me, don't you be making no babies out of wedlock. Don't you be leaving no woman. But that's all she gave me. Yeah. So a lot of times I knew I needed to get married. Oh, oh, she, oh, we getting married. That's what mama said to get married. Right. But a lot of the rest of the road, I didn't have to work out. Right. So it does take time, patience, and, and you know, 
just relax and it'll all come together. And that's just some things that work for us. And